we're going to be calling who cron. We're going to briefly check what cron is, where is the cron information, and we're going to implement who cron and change something. So the cron is to ensure that your site and its modules continue to function well. So the cron is a group of administrative operations that should be run periodically. These operations are called cron tasks. An example of cron tasks are checking for module updates, for example, and team updates, indexing content for search, or cleaning some temporary files. We are not going to do exactly that, but we are going to just check how we could run stuff on the cron run. So as we go to reports and then status report, we see that the cron was run last 46 minutes ago. And we could get more information from here. So here we could run it by opening this URL and we could set up some stuff if we are using the automated cron. And also we could just run the cron from here or directly from the devel module. So let's go ahead and add a new module. So in our Drupal instance we're going to create a new file in Drupal up cron and we're going to call it info.yml and we're going to say Drupal up cron example a type module and core 8.x. The next thing we want to do is we want to create a new file called the name of our module dot module and here we're going to be writing PHP and we say here that in this file we're going to be implementing some hook functions that's perfect and we could simply implement function hook cron and instead of hook of course we're going to be using the name of our module so here the name of our module contains cron so it's funny but just as you keep it in mind it's not a problem and here we could just trigger some stuff as the cron is run what we can do is we can simply change for example the basic site settings slogan so we could go to core and modules and system and under config we see that there is a configuration item called system site and here is also the slogan so what we can do here is we could get the slogan as calling Drupal service and we're going to need the config factory so Drupal services Drupal 8 services I mean and if we say config factory 
there we go so we can just call the config factory it is basically getting the configuration and from the config factory we could see get editable and we could use the name of this yaml file yaml configuration file for getting the system and then site and we're going to get exactly deeper the value of the slogan that's perfect and what we want to do with it is if the slogan is numeric we want to do something so we want to increment the value of the slogan so we would say slogan equals the slogan plus one because plus plus would not work since I'm pretty sure it would be got as string so for strings plus plus would not work we would have to cast it as integer but let's just do it like this as it is here so we are going to afterwards get the editable one more time here and then just set the value for the slogan so we say here set the value of the slogan with the value from here and we're going to save it that's perfect and if it's not numeric we're going to set the value of zero so that it starts from zero and yeah if our code is correct this should basically run let's go ahead now and activate our module so we created a new module called Drupal up cron example install it and now let's go ahead and run the cron so if we go under reports and status report and if we just run the cron from here and if it all went well yes here we have the value of zero and next time we run it since it's zero it's numeric so this time it's supposed to be one yes there we go so our cron task is now running correctly and we're getting new values even though it is not making much sense but still we see how we can run tasks on cron run if you like this video please check the links in the description subscribe don't forget to click the bell icon as you're subscribing to get notifications for new videos and comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching <music>